A sub-adult blue wildebeest bull show submissive behavior to the dominant male of the herd. Animal behavior that's rarely been seen in nature, captured on film. The blue wildebeest, also known as the brindle gnu. The brindle refers to the black hairs that forms lines on the shoulder and the flank. Now to us, they just look like animals. But in nature, the wildebeest is a herbivore and also prey to the lion and sometimes cheetah. Now the cats see in black and white or in tones of gray. And when you look at the wildebeest, the kudu, the zebra in black and white, then the lines on their body really break up their pattern. So they really blend in really well with the bush. The main differences between the male and the female blue wildebeest. A fully grown male is bigger than the female. The female's horns turn up on the edge of the ear, whereas the male's horns go past the ear and then turn up. And the hair between the horns on the male is black, whereas on the female, more of a dark brown, reddish color. In all my years as a guide and going on safari, I've never been privileged enough to observe animal behavior like this. And it was really great to observe this and also been able to capture it on film on one of the days that I didn't go to the park but stayed at the lodge in Marlath Park. There is a symbiotic relationship between zebra and wildebeest. In nature, we often see the two of them together. The zebra eats the taller grass, whereas the wildebeest eats the shorter grass, and animals find safety in numbers. This is a breeding herd of blue wildebeest, and every animal in the herd has a ranking in the hierarchy. And the, the herd is led by the dominant male that's seen on the left. And only the dominant male can mate with the females. And he will lead the herd until another male come and fight with him and push him out of the herd. Leading blue wildebeest bulls mark their territory. They've got scent glands between their hooves and a pre-orbital gland on their face below the eye. And here the dominant male is rubbing the gland on the tree to mark it with his scent. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel so I can make and share more wildlife safari experiences like these.